machines and their manufacturers span the planet. This is no spec series. Diversity breeds excellence and brings battle. Ride with the best and test the iconic circuits of North America. No pit stops, no quarter. The world watches and knows this is how racing should be. We are ready to go for round 13 of the Prelly World Challenge, GT, GTS. Look at this field, Audis, Bentleys, Ferraris, Porsches, Cadillacs. Our lights are on, when they go out, we go racing at Sonoma Raceway. Oh, and a great launch by the Porsche of Dial, streaming up the hill, playing beautifully into what he wanted to have happen is Mike Ski. Oh boy, and that is Santiago Creel. Yeah, Peter Cunningham, the number 42 Acura TLX GT stalled on the start finish straight. There's the damage oh to the back of his Acura. We see one of the Bentleys off on the exit of turn number six. And that looks to be the 88 possibly of Guy Smith early, full course caution here at Sonoma Raceway. Yeah, a lot of problems there. You saw damage to Dean Martin. We are greeted to y'all immediately trying to make a move. Realized, nope, not gonna work. Now thought about cutting down to the inside. Look at this move by Leitzinger. Down to the inside of Lazaro. Boy, that was a good move, but he may have run a little wide. Can Lazaro counter? Can't do it. They're coming down here on the inside is Anthony Lazaro looking to try to get around Andrew Palmer. Andrew Palmer gonna shut the door on the exit coming down to the drag strip. Oh, Lazaro's coming around. Oh, he has had a tough lap. He slipped from third to fourth. Boy, Lawson Aschenbach is starting to hound Jack Baldwin here in that Black Duck speed shot from Merrill. Mike Skeen continues to lead here in the 13th round of the Pirelli World Challenge. He's got that margin now up to just about two seconds. Figgy offline just a little bit. Marcello trying to come back side by side. Figgy shuts the door. Pole sitter Jack Baldwin in the reset MD. Porsche Cayman S continues to lead in GTS. There is your leader in GTA, uh, the category for our non-professional drivers, Prince Albert von Turn and Toxis. Brian DL getting on the gas way <laughs> sideways. That effort Porsche GT3R in second. Oh, and a problem, a problem for the number 24, Albert von Turn and Toxis. Leitzinger down to the inside of DL. He's there, Dial trying to just open the wheel up, get a better run off, and that gave Dial the opportunity, and Marcello Hahn, in his chase, apparently, of Mike Mills, has gone around, perhaps, for a second time, and Dial trying to squeeze down. Look at Butch, open the wheel up, trying to get a drive. He's down to the inside. This is gonna be a drag race, but he was a little bit too tight. Meanwhile, Skeen, he's coming around into the final corner. Here's that battle. Leitzinger trying to figure out a way. Can he do it? Dial's got him, and Leitzinger has done this over under before. Goes to the throttle, straight line. But Dial, I think, just a bit too tough. Skeen gets the win. What a story for Mike Skeen. It is Dial, Leitzinger, then Palmer, your top four. Jack Baldwin, finally, is going to get another win at Sonoma Raceway. The lights are on. We're about to go. Round 14 about to commence of a 16-round championship. Guy Smith box badly and a great launch by Robert Thornton and the McLaren. And once again, an immense start from Johnny O'Connell. He has slotted up into fourth, got around Mike Skeen. Yeah, but that's exactly what Mike Skeen is. He makes oh. contact with Johnny O'Connell coming out of the carousel. And look at this, Dial coming down the inside of Thorne, down into turn 11. He is there. Andy Lee has gone to the front. A phenomenal start for Andy, moving in front of Lawson Aschenbach. Now Holden, this is going to help Lawson because that is definitely going to slow Andy up. Oh, and Holden almost goes off. Aschenbach takes advantage, uses the GT car as a pick. Lawson to the inside, down the front stretch here. He'll have the inside through one. If Andy Lee can hold it to the outside, he'll have the inside and all important number two. Does not do it. Lawson Aschenbach to the lead. And up front, there's the story for the overall lead, Anthony Lazaro. Skeen going for it up the hill, but he couldn't quite get enough. Well, look at this. He's going to try and plant it around the outside. This might be it. Oh, they touch. Skeen dirtying up those right side tires. Skeen getting a run down to the inside, going into turn number 11. They are still side by side. Jack Rouse Jr. problems. You see the fluid coming out of that car. Looks like a big overheating or lost the motor. Albert von Turnen talks. It's a big move down underneath Alex Figgy. Here, full course yellow. We just got the call. There's Bill Ziegler. Car getting away from him. About to go back to green here at Sonoma Raceway. Anthony Lazaro leads overall. It is your point leader, Johnny O'Connell, in the Cadillac, in fourth. Oh, a bump right there. Yeah, Alex Figgy looking there too, trying to stay out of his way. It's Andy Pilgrim to the inside. Body parts flying everywhere. They're side by side through turn four. Uh oh, we've got a McLaren. It looks like it is Alex Figgy, and uh, he is coming to a stop. No! Oh, and our pole sitter, Guy Smith, has come to a stop.
the GTS battle, and led by Lawson Aschenbach. There's Andy Lee in second, but Jack Baldwin has gone around Mark Wilkins and picked up that third spot. Down here, Mike Skeen to the inside. I think he's going to stuff it in there this time and make that pass. They touch side by side. O'Connell off into the dirt. And uh, so is Skeen. Skeen absolutely refusing to give any corner, but drops those tires once again. Mike Skeen wounded, left rear corner down. That cut tire has damaged some of the bodywork. Meanwhile, Lawson Aschenbach, look at the lead, but look who's second. It is Baldwin. He has now gone around Andy Lee. And we are under caution here at Sonoma Raceway. And the incident involved uh, Dean Martin. So Anthony Lazaro gets his second win of the season, his first coming quite a few races back at Barber Motorsports Park. Lawson Aschenbach getting a, another win here uh, after finishing second yesterday. Jack Baldwin, the pole sitter, after winning yesterday, getting second. But how about it? You talk about how everybody turned into toxins. Not just winning the GTA category for the sportsman drivers, but seventh overall.